Good morning, everyone. I am here outside my building and going standing in front of this contraption that um, you see here. There's also a different contraption a few feet away that looks like that. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to ignore these photographs of it, and I'm just going to draw it live. Drawing things live, of course, makes much more sense than drawing things uh, from a photograph, because you have a sense of the um, space, the, the, the depth of the thing. You can draw a better picture, I think, in the long run. But what I'm going to show you here is what I'm going to be doing. So where's my pen? Here it is. Pen. Let's make it bright fuchsia. Thank you very much. Dotted line. It's fine. It can be a dotted line. So what I do when I draw something, rarely, when I'm drawing it for fun, rarely do I draw the whole thing. When I have to do someone's house portrait, yes, I have to draw the whole house. The chimney down to the bottom front step from the garage to the solarium. Even though it means everything is tiny. Uh, and my clients complain that their doorknob, you can't see their doorknob. Well, that's because it's one pixel big. What do you want me to do? You know, so this machine is pretty big. I could draw the entire machine, but it's not interesting, I don't think. So usually what I do is I focus on a, a part of it, and that becomes the drawing. It's more interesting. There's big shapes, and there's small shapes, and there's shadows and stuff. But I might even, what if I just had it be this big? It's name and lights, fuchsia lights like that. So what I do is I just wander around and try to find areas that become interesting to me. So, uh, and right now the light is a beautiful morning light. I don't know why people don't get up early to see this every day. I'm going to be drawing this section right here, and then maybe later on I'll go over here, and maybe I'll go to see the other one. But let's start with this one first. Color fill black. And get my yellow out. And get my vector tool out that I love. And it's more yellow than that. Thank you very much. And I have it set at gradient, yes. So I'm going to draw the three pistons sort of right in the center of this thing. I'm standing right in the middle of the door, uh, driveway here, which is probably not wise, but I'm standing right now in the shade. Drawing uh, with an iPad in the shade is better than drawing it in the light of day because I can't see what I'm doing and I bring it home and I look at it in the gloom of my house and I suddenly have all sorts of color things that I don't like happening. So what I'm going to be doing here is uh, I'm picking areas of like color. I look at the machine in front of me and I say, okay, I'm drawing you know, I don't know what these things are called. The piston, the arm, the cam, the whatever else. I don't know what they're called. I only know them as a big butch triangular shape and another big butch shape and a, another shape. And that's what I'm drawing. It's easier to draw shapes than it is to draw cams or whatever they are. So... The blue sky, which you see in the upper left-hand corner, is reflected in the glass of the cab. See, I know what that's called, the cab. The thingy where the butch workman sits. 
and the there's the sky and some wires and a little bit of a top of a chain link fence and I continue to draw what I see without really knowing what any of it is called because I don't need to know it's a triangular thing and another thing oops that doesn't go there this goes here something like that I don't know I've already made a kind of an error but this is more interesting I think than a drawing of the entire object this becomes a composition that is dynamic and hopefully interesting to someone who is going to see this hanging in a museum someday. No, I'm joking about that. It's probably never going to end up anywhere than, other than to my nephew, I bequeath my iPad. You know, things like that. It's only going to be seen by my next of kin. Pierce suggests don't look at the folder labeled porn. Or look at it. Now, I'm joking about much of what I'm saying, and if you're laughing, that's great. If you're calling the police, first of all, my nephew is over 18. Um, okay, so here is that piston thing, and it too is reflecting some of that blue sky and it's reflecting some of the dark and it's also reflecting a little tiny bit of that yellow. Look at that. That just makes it pop. Now, I'm not going to draw these with this, the amount of detail that I might normally do. And I usually draw a little bit faster than I'm talking. But after all, I'm talking. And that takes energy. And stamina and vim and vigor. So consequently, I'm distracted by... I'm, I'm neither drawing nor speaking as well as I could be doing. And I'm, what I am doing, though, is seeing how off I am in my original planning. Because I'm, things are, I'm running out of room that I shouldn't be running out of. Out of which I should not be running. For those of you that require... the grammar Nazis out there. So what I'm going to do shortly is I'm going to um, go to another drawing. What I might do is just draw a very close-up of the area that I'm drawing here to not only to do it correctly this time, but also to just zoom in a little bit more to show you how I, how I decide on what to draw and what sort of composition I'm building. So this, let's just talk about this composition for a second though. This one has 
you know, this big diagonal line coming down the front and some other diagonal lines and maybe it's just too, maybe I need to have some things like this that I'm adding. And I'm not making these up. I'm actually seeing them in front of my eyes here. There's just some some lines that go against the diagonal. Now there's areas here that are very bright and I need to add that to just add the spark that I'm lacking. There's a spark. Could I put it in the correct spot though? Do you think I could do that? I really put my mind to it. Maybe I can. There's a little spark there. There's some other sparks here. I'm exaggerating that one a little bit because I'm an artist and I can do that. I'm also exaggerating something down here. I'm making this light. That little, those little photons are coming through the machinery somehow and illuminating that one little spot. See, and those little tiny parts that I just added down there are kind of important, I think, to the overall design. Why they are important, I'll let the the docent at the museum where this is hung explain it to you because I have no clue. Okay, so there's that one. I'm just going to stop it at that point. I'm going to get another one, go to my black, color fill black, and walk over here to the to this side of it. And here I'm drawing kind of the same thing, but, okay, let's start this out correctly. There we go, that's better. I'm zooming in onto just one of these, the bottom of one of these piston-y things. I'm remembering a very funny story that happened 30 32 years ago, maybe, 30, 31, 32. I had just moved into this place, this building I'm in, and we all had essentially a completely empty unit. This, is, this drawing is almost entirely yellow, by the way. Um, we moved into our units here, and I needed the the in order to save money, or in order for the building to save money. I think the we we opted to do this as a group. We chose not to have the kitchen kitchen appliances uh, put in by the contractors, but we were gonna. We said, "Oh, we can do it ourselves." And, oh, I see what I'm drawing right now. I'm drawing, this thing that I'm drawing right here is the reflection, the bright reflection coming from the rear view mirror that is on the upper left-hand corner of this drawing. And the thing holding the rear view mirror is right there. So, pipe coming down. So that is causing this bright area to be illuminated, and there's a splash of very white. Come on, thing, move. Right here. Come on, white. I said white. Right there. That's, that's the brightest part of this entire drawing, is right there. Everything else is less bright. Um, anyway, 
uh, thingy. So uh, we all had to plug in our refrigerators and we had to connect our dishwashers and we had to do everything we had you know, ourselves. And what do I know about contracting? And I know which is a hammer and which is a screwdriver, but apart from that, I'm not as smat as maybe I could be or should be when I'm doing this sort of work. But I thought I was. So what I did was I needed to install my dishwasher. Well, wouldn't you know I made an error. I'm going to make this entire thing a little darker here just because my highlights need to be... That's a trick I use quite often as I... I need to brighten everything up. Oh, I remember those three little groups of photons that were coming through? I will draw them where they exist now. There's a happy one, or something like Bob Ross. There's another happy one, and there's a happy one. And that same intensity of light is hitting some of these other areas. So... Boy, this got dark. So anyway, where was I? I installed my my dishwasher incorrectly the first time. So I had to get a new part. And I went to the plumbing store that was nearby. And I went with my uh, sort of roommate at the time who was kind of shocked that we moved into this area of urban blight and uh, blue-collar world from the sophisticated artsy world of Boston. We moved to Somerville, which at the time wasn't as sophisticated as it is now, 30 years ago. Anyway, what I did was I held up the thing that I broke and I needed a new one of those things. Now, what those things are, I cannot tell you because I'm not a con contractor or a plumber or whatever else I was supposed to be. I was an artist. And I said to the man behind the desk, Do you have one of these thingies? And I held up the th brass, copper rather, copper pipe, essentially bendable pipe uh, thing. And I, I wanted the thing that went to the end of the pipe, whatever that is. I, I said, do you have one of these thingies? And my friend was mortified that I used the word thingy. And I remember thinking before I said anything. I remember thinking, should I say this word or that word? I ended up saying this word rather than that word. I said, well, what do you call it, smarty pants? And the plumber hard hat wearing plumber he was inside the house and he still had his hard hat on but, so that explains things maybe it just explains that he was afraid his building was going to collapse on him but he looked at me and rolled his eyes and I was going to say smarty pants smarty boots is what I ended up saying smarty boots but I, initially I was going to say smarty pants. I don't know I don't know how, when I just related this story, whether I said pants or boots, but he, re, he got married about 20 years ago, and I was at his wedding, and his, he was married in Florence, Italy, and his 
Italian-speaking niece and nephew were there, and they were very funny. Uh, they were. They thought the name was so funny because we, we translated that nickname into Italian. And intelligente scarpone, smarty boots. So I don't know what any of these things are called, but I'm drawing them even with my ignorance. Now, this is not nearly as interesting as it looks like in front of me. And why is that? Again, it's because I think I'm not showing the brightness of where the sun is hitting this thing. So I'm just going to go right in and attack it with vim and vigor. Now, again, what you're going to see on the screen is probably different than what I see outside here on my screen. I probably have this iPad set to power saving mode and consequently... What is that line doing there? Oh, I see what that line is doing there. Power saving mode, so therefore my my screen is showing a dimmer version of all of this. than you will see on the screen. Okay, where's this bright white? There's that bright white. Well, I don't think this drawing is turning out very well. And why is that? Now it's too dark. I'm adding more dark tones of this sort of yellowy orange. And what I'm doing, see the part that I'm working on right now that's underneath at the bottom, at the base of this piston thing, this piston thingy, if you know what these things are called, smarty boots, you can... If you know what this thing is called right there, you can let me know in the comments below. But that's the part that I'm going to draw right now. Color fill, black. And I'm going to just be bolder right from the get-go here. I'm just going to... So, what, what I do when, I'm, when I draw a close-up of something rather than drawing the whole thing. I, can't, I don't have to spend hours and hours and hours measuring, you know, how tall is it compared to its width, how... what is the proportions of this element of it to the similar element that's next to it. I end up going right in and drawing. I don't have time to spend. I'm only on this planet for another, I don't know how many years, decade or two, and I don't want to be on my deathbed saying, I wish I didn't spend so much time measuring that thingy on that machine. I wish I just dove right in Damn the torpedoes, and just went full speed ahead. I'm missing something. See, this is what happens when you do damn the torpedoes. You end up drawing, forgetting something, but that's okay. I'm not building a, this is not a template to make another one of these things. This is a... Ooh! Our sparkles have changed intensity here. Here's those little things again. The photons of light that are making it through the... the various tubes and pipes and whatever these are. 
And right now, the only area, the brightest area, are those little specks and the and the part of this piston that's over here. Everything else is. Oops, I got. There's one thing right there. Oops. No, that's off the screen. I do have some things that are silver color, um, but they're not. Um, they're not really bright. It's a hose clamp, I think. I know what hose clamps are. Okay, well, that's too bright. I want it brighter, but I don't want it that bright. I'm starting to lose it here. I'm going to draw one more. I'm going to make a close-up of just this area now, right there. So, new sketch. Should I start with, why don't I start with yellow this time, color fill. I'm going to start with yellow and just see, <clears throat> see if this makes it any better or different. So here I'm drawing the dark elements, not the light elements. And I'm doing just that area right there, which is a very close-up area of what look to be like there are four Allen nuts or bolts or whatever they're called. See, I know some things. And then they're connected to a hexagonal nut thing there and another piece of... And then there's a black hose right there. And then there's a silver hose clamp. And there's shadows down here. And right under there, there's another nut, or a bolt, or seat for a bolt. There's a dark hole in the side of the thing that is the axis for the middle piston. The other piston is over here. And here we have some shadowing. Oops, I forgot that. There's another pipe, another rubber tube coming up with probably hydraulic fluid or something like that in it. Two more pipes. Okay, now we make it all darker, and then we make the areas that are black, really black, just get them out of the way. That also helps me anchor what I'm doing. Come on. I guess that's it. No, there's a little bit of black right there and there. And now I'm going to pick the areas that are the brightest and show them as bright. Brighter. little black plug there, a little reflection there. <sighs> We've lost our bright lights, our little triangular bits are a little bit off to the off screen to the right. Okay, here's my hose clamp. 
there are two little, or I don't know, maybe that's a tag, warning tag saying, do not read this, no, do not uh, unscrew or do not do something. I don't know what it says. There's areas of very half light shadow that is going to help define the space here a little bit, make it, parts of it more three dimensional. So I'm throwing that in now. Okay, now get our bright yellow, brightest yellow ever. And now we'll fill the areas of really bright. Light in. There's only really two areas that are that are being hit by that light. There's a lesser amount of it than some of the other areas, but there's some sort of reflected light coming off down there. And now this is artistic license. Well, not really. They're sort of there. What do you think? A little bit brighter here. Huh. Anyway, have I... I think I better stop. What have I done here? I've done that one. Zoom out. We zoom out again, and we zoom out again. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Where? Zoom in. Zoom in! So I think that's all, folks. I don't know how long this video was, but I think it's long enough. Bye.